Well, let's settle in. Take a big breath here. This is the last day of the Kriya for Metabolism and Relaxation. And I like this, these two short Kriyas combined. There's some core work and a lot of breath work. The Nadi Shodana, alternate nostril breath, some long deep breathing, and a fair amount of breath of fire. Um, and the two together, I think Roberta said it last night during our practice, it's at the end of the practice, it's, a, it's kind of a sweet um, sequence, a sweet Kriya. So I'll mute everyone now. <clears throat> So let's sit up tall, close the eyes, immediately lift the heart. As you lift the heart, the chin tucks in just a bit and the spine comes into that perfect alignment. Make sure you're comfortable that if you're not comfortable, by all means, shift and move or use a prop until you are comfortable. One way, one way we stay grounded is to stay connected to our breath. Breathing has it's just the greatest connector to ourselves and to each other. It is, it is the tethering, it is the glue that holds everything together. So be conscious of the breath in through the nose, out through the nose. Breathe into that lower lumbar spine where the kidneys and adrenals are located. We're sending extra attention to the adrenal glands that absorb this underlying stress that Suzanne and Carol both alluded to. And let's bring our hands to prayer position, Anjali Mudra, letting the thumbs rest lightly on the sternum, elbows just relaxed and down. Remember, we keep the face relaxed, jaw relaxed, tongue relaxed, no gripping. The face is said to be the mirror of the mind in yoga, so we want to try at all times to keep the face relaxed. So we'll do the Adi Mantra three times. First time for ourselves, so tuning in to our greater, higher self, tuning into each other, acknowledging the higher self in each other, and acknowledge the Acknowledging that in the greater world, the third time we chant. So inhale three times, exhale three times through the nose, inhale. 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 Adi Mantra. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Om Namo Guru Dev Namo. Let's go right into the Kriya. Not really necessary for warming up the spine on this one. So we go right into this Venus Mudra, just a relaxed Mudra. 
It's just sitting here comfortably at the spine, I mean at the third chakra. Then we bring it up to the heart. This is a very subtle movement, but I found it, uh, it really begins to move subtle energy. So there's a big inhale, and then we hold the breath. While we're holding the breath, there's three pumps and a vertical pump. So inhale, I hold the breath, one, two, three. Then stretching the spine really tall, still holding the breath, then exhaling, bringing this back to the heart chakra. So we do this three minutes. You can follow along with me. I'll call it out. Big inhale. Hold the breath. One, two, three. Up. Really stretch the spine tall. Then exhale, slowly bringing this back to the heart. Inhale. Hold the breath. One, two, three three, inhale, still holding the breath, bringing the arms up, exhaling down, inhale, hold, one, two, three, lifting up, still holding, stretching the spine long, then exhale, bringing this Venus Mudra back to the heart chakra, inhale, hold, one, two, three, inhaling up, I'm pulling the energy up, exhaling to the heart, inhale, hold, one, two, three, inhale, up, holding the air, exhale, bringing it back to the heart, inhale, hold, one, two, three, lifting up, still holding, stretching the spine, Exhaling back to the heart, halfway through this cycle. Inhale, hold the breath. One, two, three, lifting up. Exhale, I'm realizing that my bandhas are really engaged for second, third chakra. Inhale, hold, one, two, three, lifting up. My bandhas are engaged. Exhaling back to the heart. Inhale. Hold. One, two, three. Lifting up, stretching the spine. Exhaling back to the heart. Inhale. Hold. One, two, three. Lifting up, stretching the spine. I'm squeezing the bandhas. Exhale back to the heart. Inhale, hold, one, two, three, lifting up, really stretching the spine, exhaling back to the heart, there's 30 more seconds, inhale, and hold, one, two, three, lifting up, stretching the spine, squeezing the bandhas, exhale, back to the heart, inhale, Hold, one, two, three, lifting up, really stretching the spine, exhaling back to the heart. Just let the hands rest right here below the third chakra. Check in and observe. It seems like such a simple exercise, doesn't it? But I feel this shifting of energy all around my body. You're pulling the kundalini energy up from the root chakra where it's coiled like a snake and pulling it up when you do that big lift, pulling it up to the crown. So now we go one minute back here at the heart, but this is a long inhale. And while I'm inhaling long through the nose, I try to do as many as 10 pumps. So. First, do one long inhale through the nose. Exhale, maybe you can make that inhale five seconds or so, as long as you can. So now it's a neuromuscular activity. You're going to inhale long and try to pump the arms. So it'll be 
So I'm inhaling, pumping the arms long, then exhale, resting the hands at the heart chakra. Big, long inhale. I feel like an egg beater. Like the, I feel the, the, cho- the energy just swirling around me. Long inhale. We're really working with the subtle body here. Inhale. You're just moving the energy, circulating it all around the body. Inhale long. Let's do another 30 seconds or so. Inhale. Who would think such a simple activity creates a change in state of being? Inhale. One last one, inhale. Now take the palms down to the knees. So they're face down, the energy's circulating throughout the body. Just observe. Now the core work begins. We come onto our backs. My hands are in Venus Mudra behind my neck, behind my head. This seems easy, but it starts to get challenging. We'll lie back. My head stays on the mat. Fingers interlaced behind the neck, behind the head. I'm going to lift my right foot just two feet, point the toes, point both toes, and begin to hold that foot. We don't have to move it. You're just holding it. As I've lifted it two feet, I can feel my sacrum, my lower lumbar spine, making contact with the mat. That's right where your kidneys and adrenals are. Breathe into that space. Give them some love and attention nurturing they're working hard for you to come back with low level ongoing stress long deep breathing through the nose you can keep the eyes open look at your ceiling We're coming up on the first minute. It's pretty easy, but by the end of the second minute, it's getting challenging. You are working the core. Legs are engaged by pointing the toes. My ankles engaged. I can feel it in my thighs, hamstrings, calves. It helps me stretch the spine long. Just 40 more seconds. Stay with it. Nice work, everyone. Fifteen more seconds. You'll get a little rest between sides. And slowly take it down. Just keep the hands the underneath your neck. Try to let the elbows fall, fall to the mat so you're opening up your heart chakra. You're opening up your chest as much as you can and opening up the shoulders. Okay, two minutes on the other side. So lift up the left leg. Point the toes, point both toes. Left leg's about two feet off the mat. Long, deep breathing. 
the difficulty kicks in a little sooner on this side because your core is getting more tired. After this, we move into alternate nostril breath. So you can give it your all, give it your honest, best effort. Long, deep breathing. Try to exhale all the old, stale air from the lungs, from the night. One more minute. Everybody's staying with it. Good job. Use the psychic energy from the group. If you're feeling tired, try to draw on the energy from the virtual space. The same as if you, we were all together in the same room. Sometimes when you're really tired, you can tell everybody else is doing the same posture and it gives you energy to stay with it. Twenty more seconds. Ten more. Five more, three, two, one, and let it come down. Take your arms to the side, 30 seconds, just let go. <sighs> Make some audible sighs. Ah, that lets the parasympathetic nervous system know <clears throat> that you want to relax and then you will relax even more. Ah. Now we make our way up to an easy pose, sitting on a block or a blanket, of course, to lift the pelvis. There's some people that are just as comfortable sitting flat on the mat, but it's kind of rare. Most people need their pelvis lifted. Okay, we're going to move into the wonderful Nadi Shodana alternate nostril breath. It's so great for balancing the hemispheres of the brain. I feel extra mental clarity, more connected to my intuition when I'm doing alternate nostril breath. So right thumb comes to right nostril. This ring finger rests on the left nostril. We're gonna start by breathing only through the left side. So the inhale and the exhale happen only on the left side. So let's begin two minutes. My left hand is just resting on my left knee. I'm sitting up as tall as I can, lifting my heart, lengthening the spine. All the breath in and out, only through left nostril. One side will be more open than the other, so if this is your closed side, just, just breathe through it. It's like a straw that has, that's got something in it, but you will get enough oxygen, trust me. You're breathing properly, you're filling the lungs they drop and expand, so you feel your belly extending out. On the exhale, you feel the, feel the belly drawing in towards the spine. That's proper breathing. The only people I think are really taught this breathing pattern are singers, actors, and swimmers.
We're coming up on two minutes. Then you will close off the left with the ring finger and begin breathing through the right. So close off the left. Now two minutes, just inhale, exhale through the right nostril. You're effectively doing a manual override on your breath pattern. It's automatically set by the brain. Every 15 minutes or so, the brain alternates the dominant side. One minute more on this side. Make the inhale and exhale the same length of time if you can. Long inhale, long exhales. Now we'll add true alternate nostril breath. You're going to breathe through the right, exhaling through the left. So just breathing through the right, inhale right, exhale left. Two minutes. So I close off the left, I inhale through the right. I close off the right with the thumb, I exhale through the left. Close off the left, inhale through the right. That's your pattern. Try to make as long of inhale as you can and then try to match that with the same length of time on the exhale. Now we're going to mix it up again. So now you'll inhale through the left, exhale through the right, but with the breath of fire kind of breath. So it's a, a quick inhale, a forced exhale. You may need a Kleenex because it's morning. So it's inhale left, close it off, forced exhale right. Inhale left. See my belly moving? Inhaling left, exhaling right. So it's a real force.
the sinuses, the turbinates are, they're as big as the size of a pinball, I mean a, uh, a pool table ball, that behind your mask, behind the nose. Now last part, let's reverse the direction. So now you'll inhale right, exhale left. Your core really gets a workout. Because every exhale, you're drawing that belly in and pushing the air out. A few more seconds. I know this is kind of awkward. Inhale both breath, both nostrils. Take the hands down, just rest them on the knees. Just breathe luxuriously through both nostrils. Observe, do you feel some clarity mentally from this kind of breathing. Now lie onto your back. We're gonna do 60 seconds. It doesn't sound like much, but it gets hard. A stretch pose. So in stretch pose, my palms are face down beside me on the mat. I'm gonna lift up my head. I'm gonna lift up my feet. I'm looking at my head, my feet, <laughs> my head, my feet. My hands come up to about hips and I begin breath of fire. So you're looking at your pointed toes. You're really working the core here. Your hands are just up about 10 to 12 inches, palm down to the mat, just right at hip level. Do that forced inhale, exhale through the nose. We're almost at 30 seconds. You'll have 30 seconds more. You can do it, stay with the group. You'll get a rest and then we'll just do 30 seconds more. 20 more seconds. Working on the core, working on deep breathing. And release, come down. Let the back of the head fall onto the mat, palms open to the ceiling, just rest. Our lungs are so strong. If by chance we got this COVID, I would think our lungs are in such good shape we can weather through it. Okay, 30 seconds more. Lift the feet, six inches. Hands up, palms down. I'm looking at my feet and I'm doing breath of fire. 30 seconds. And come right into a ball. So draw the knees towards the forehead. Try to get the knees into the crease of the elbows. My, my nose is really close to my knees and I move right into breath of fire for one minute. If it gets a little claustrophobic with the breath of fire, then go to long deep breathing.
it feels a little odd doing this breath of fire where we're very compressed, but you can do it. kidneys and the adrenals are resting on the lower lumbar spine on your mat. Breathe right into that part of your body, the lower lumbar spine. And now sit up, come up. So this is a stretch of the life nerve. So immediately start at the groins. Massage the thighs, knees, calves. Go up and down a little bit, massaging. I like to make contact with the body. This is my body, I'm in it. Stay connected to it. Maybe you get down here and you can grab the big toes with the heels, with the thumbs. Then the whole exercise is just trying to bring my forehead closer to my knees. As I do that, I feel the lower lumbar spine. So two more minutes of just long, deep breathing here. Maybe the fascia, the hamstrings, calves release and the legs come closer to the mat. Don't force them though, they'll release on their own. Most likely the knees are bent. That's perfectly normal. But throughout the week, I've realized I can get my head, my forehead closer and closer to my knees. Long, deep breathing. Do you feel it in your lower lumbar spine? Do you feel that stretching? So good for you. So good for the adrenals. Breathe into the, pretend there are lungs back there at your lower lumbar spine. There aren't lungs. There are five lobes of the lung, but this, there's no lobes that low. <laughs> but metaphorically, you can pretend there are and you're breathing into that part of your spine. Thirty more seconds of deep breathing. Thoracic spine is opening up, cervical spine is opening. Now inhale, sit up tall, lie back again. We're gonna do a modified stretch pose. This is easier because you get to keep your feet on the mat. So, so my heels are on the mat. My hands come up about 10 inches, I guess. And then I look at my feet. So my feet get to stay, but I'm looking at my feet. Breath of fire for two minutes. So my shoulders are just off the mat enough that I can see my pointed toes. So much easier because I don't have to lift the feet. So it's modified and we can go longer. We're gonna go two minutes. We're already at 40 seconds. This breath of fire, you're really cleansing the lungs. You're breathing with power and force for those people who cannot breathe right now.
just 30 more seconds. Then you get a little relaxation. Inhale, sit back, lie back. Nice work, everyone. Let the palms fall open to the ceiling. Just close your eyes, let go. Surrender. That's the end of this first short Kriya. We're balancing the thyroid, the parathyroid glands. You've had glandular stimulation, lots of pranayama. And let's come up into hero's pose, thunderbolt. I know for Carol, this is a, not an easy pose, so just come into, come into easy pose, since this thunderbolt, if you've had knee replacement or knee injuries, it's impossible. More breath of fire now. I do the breath, and it's a spinal flex. So it's like you're doing cat cow, but you're in this Vajrasana. So I, I do a inhale through my nose here, exhale through my nose, force exhale when I go into cat. So cow, cat. So think inhale, exhale. And where you're concave, where you're collapsing the diaphragm, it really exhales all the air. You're pushing it all out. It's such a great pose. One more minute. You're moving prana throughout the body. You're moving life force. One of the reasons we feel so good after practice, we feel balanced, energized. We're releasing endorphins. Come back up, big inhale, lift the heart, squeeze the bandhas. So hold the breath, squeeze anus, pull neck, pull uh, spine, uh, pull navel towards spine. You're holding the breath, all the bandhas are engaged and release. Just sit here and observe for a minute. Long, deep breathing, close your eyes.
40 minutes into the practice. Where is my emotional state, my mental state? Is it different than 40 minutes ago? If it is, then generally that's what keeps us coming back to our mat. We know we have physical, mental, emotional effects from the practice. Satkriya now. We've all done Satkriya. Mudra is just palms in prayer pose. They're over my head. Three minutes. I inhale sat, so I'm, it's the opposite. I'm inhaling and drawing the belly in, which is normally, it's the opposite, right? So it's sat, nam. Then on the exhale, I'm pushing the belly out. Sat, nam. When people don't breathe correctly, a lot of times this is what they do. They actually suck their belly, belly in when they're inhaling, but we know it's just the opposite. But this is a neuromuscular thing, so it's sat, nam, sat. You still get enough breath, even though it's not efficient. So three minutes, do the sat nams with me. Sanskrit is a vibrational language, so it's very important that you're doing, saying it, letting it move across your lips, soft palate, tongue, Let's begin. I'll set our clock three minutes. Sat Nam 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 With every Sat the bandhas engage, I lift my spine, see how I'm really kind of coming up on every sat, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, lengthening my spine on that sat, sat nam, sat nam, sat nam, my truth is my identity, sat nam, truth, name, nam, sat 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 Nam. Sat Nam, 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 one more minute, Sat Nam, 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 Nam, Sat 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 Nam, Big inhale, Sat, 
Keep the arms up, squeeze the bandhas, anus, sex organs, pull navel towards spine. Keep holding the breath, stretching tall and release. Take the hands down to the knees, close the eyes. Just observe. Let the breath equalize. My truth is my deepest part of myself, not my personality. My core essence is my truth. Bring to mind your first memory, maybe age three, four, five, six. What's your first memory? Going forward, the totality of all your life experiences make you, in essence, who you are right now, sitting on your mat. So we bless all those experiences, all part of the ever unfolding you. One last exercise in the Kriya, meditating on the self. We come into easy pose, more breath of fire. And it's with breath of fire with a shoulder shrug. So I don't believe we've done that before. So I go inhale up, exhale down. So through the nose, so it'll be It feels a little awkward adding the little forced inhale, forced exhale with each shrug. We'll go for two minutes. This is good neuromuscular work because it's kind of odd foreign activity with breath. Good work, 45 more seconds. Lungs are really getting a workout today. Inhale. Big inhale, squeeze the bandhas, first, second, third chakra, keep holding the breath, squeezing the bandhas. I'm holding on to my knees, everything is engaged, and release. Maybe you need a drink of water after all the breath work.
we move into six minutes of meditation. So get comfortable, use a prop, move legs wherever you need to be comfortable. We keep our hands on the knees, palms are not up. The energy keeps circulating around through the body this way. Close the eyes. I'll give you some prompts. Lift the heart that tucks the chin and it brings the spine into that really good alignment. All this posture work helps you when you're off your mat, you'll stand more erect, you'll sit more erect, more properly. Long, deep breath work through the nose. Ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? Why am I here? What is my purpose? How can I serve?
How much love have I given and received? Who needs my help today? Who needs my help, my assistance, my particular essence, my energy? Who needs me today? Open the eyes and move into your Shavasana. Take these questions with you into your Shavasana. Your, you can continue your meditation on the self. A 10 minute Shavasana. Let everything go, get comfortable. Complete surrender. I'll bring you back with the bell. Here are some further comments on this meditation on the self. The mind is given to you to use in self-expansion. Often we do not channel it or capture it. It runs wild on old thought patterns and habits. The function of your mind is not to just spew out random thoughts. Direct your mind in meditation to become aware of your identity and how you have guided it. Use your mind for self-observation, not just fantasy and daydreams. The body is your finite identity. The mind is a bridge to your infinite identity which is even beyond the soul.
It is not the mind that runs the body. It is actually you. Your mind is another part of you.
Begin to breathe together now. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, audible sigh. Ah. Inhale through the nose. Ah. One last audible sigh. Inhale through the nose. Ah. Bring the hands to prayer position. Just rest them at the heart as if you're standing in Anjali Mudra. And then while you're still in prayer, extend the arms over your head, stretching the spine. You're still holding prayer, stretching the spine, point the toes, then draw the prayer back to the heart. Then place the left hand on the heart, the right hand on the left. Just feeling your heart, both palms together, just feeling the heart, your fourth chakra. Now move it to a venous lock over the heart, all 10 fingers intertwined. Then just slide that venous lock down to the lower triangle, triangle just between the pubic hair and the abdomen. So just being conscious of your first, second, third chakras, this energy field we call the lower triangle. Then rest the palm right at the third chakra, right at the core. This is where we come from when we're in fear. Now slide the venous lock back up to the heart, being conscious of the fourth chakra. Slide the venous lock to the throat, fifth chakra, your seat of expression, where you communicate your authentic self, where you know words have power as they come through your voice box. Now slide the hands up over the eyes, seat of intuition, be conscious of your third eye, your sixth sense, your sixth chakra. And we'll end up, bring the venous lock, hold the crown. So just hold the venous lock around the crown, seventh chakra. Knowing that kundalini energy, we bring it up from the first chakra all the way to the crown. It's just circulating in a circular motion through the chakras, through the shashumna. Now bring the arms up. Just kind of shake your arms out to your sides all around. You're feeling your eighth chakra, that chakra, that, that energy field that surrounds your body. It's your field of protection. Hmm. Then move into your cool down where you may draw your knees towards your forehead. You may want to do spinal twists or spinal rolls. Do whatever feels good for your spine, for your body. See people doing figure fours, that modified pigeon, spinal twists, legs to one side, arms out to a T, really stretches open the chest. I see Margaret doing a Baddha Konasana where the soles of the feet come into the midline. Great hip opener, wonderful pose to do in bed. Carol and Eric are doing a spinal twist. Pablo and Maria are doing happy baby. Rodney's rolled up into a ball. Margaret's doing a spinal roll. Susan, Suzanne is taking each knees to each side. 
giving herself a spinal twist. And let's make our way back up to the seated position. Sitting quietly with the eyes closed. Reveling in that meditation on the self. Integrating body, mind, spirit. Fully embodying the human body. Fully inhabiting and expressing all of your emotions. To experience your full human raw state. And of course, connecting to the power of our mind. and connecting to our spirit, our soul force, our life force. So we bring our hands to prayer. Thank you, Eric, for being back with us. Thank you, Carol, Pablo, Maria. Welcome back to Miami. Suzanne, Roberta, Margaret, Melanie, Rodney. Thank you for being on your mat. We'll close with the long time sun, that prayer of protection, honoring the love in our life, honoring our life force, honoring our divine guidance, our higher self, that we continue to be guided by that force. May the long time sun shine upon you all love surround you and the pure light within you guide your way on guide your way on guide your way on sat nam Satnam. Satnam.